I'm Megan Hepner, creative editor for Creating Keepsakes magazine. Let's talk about how we can use flower techniques to make our projects bloom. I have a couple to show you today. The first one, this is by Linda Barber, and she has actually used photographs to make a flower shape. What a creative idea, huh? Linda thought it through before she put her flower down on her page and thought how a flower really looks, and she went and actually slightly overlapped one photo on the next, or layered them, to make them look more like actual petals and a flower. So if you look closely, you can see that, how one is layered over the next. Then to um, further the look of the flower, she added a punch circle to the center and some smaller circles on top of that for the middle of her flower. And you can leave it at that if you want to and just maybe do a stem with some ribbon. Or if you want to get a little bit more technique-y and fancy with it, you can take some stitching and accent the flower and emphasize the outline. If you look closely here, she's used some orange thread and just gone around the shape of the flower to kind of put it all together and finish it off. And then to really um, use this space well, she's taken her stitching all the way down the length of the layout with a fun cross stitch, and that makes a stem, and even did a leaf with her stitching. Very, very cute. So fill um, a nice area of your layout with some flower accents and use your photos in a different way. Instead of just putting a photo down on a page, think about how it can make a shape like a flower. You can also create flowers from unexpected pieces, such as snow cone cups. I am kind of a snow cone geek. People that know me know this about me. I'm a little bit addicted. And that includes the snow cone supplies. So I have taken a clean, mind you, snow cone cup. And on this page about me getting some snow cones, I thought it might enhance or further the theme if I created a handmade flower from the actual cup. So if you look, here's the before, here's the after. I just cut into the cup to create the petals using pinking shears to give them a little bit more of a decorative edge. And because snow cone cups are a little bit waxy or slippery, um, all of your adhesives may not work as well. I ran into that problem. So what I did was just use my sewing machine and I secured the cup petals in place that way. Also add a little bit more detail to the way the petals look. And again, if you wanna just stop there, you can, or you can create a stem, which is what I wanted to do with the project. So I used, a, of course, a snow cone straw. Um, what I did to create the stem was with my straw, spoon side facing up, I just cut lengthwise down the entire straw so it would lay flat. And with it cut, I put it down, and again with the sewing machine, sewed it in place. And in the center of the straw where the spoon is, I put a brad to kind of bring the eye to the middle and create, finish the, the flower look. I wanted a second one, but this is kind of a big accent for a project, and I didn't want to overwhelm the page, so I just did a partial flower up here in the corner. Again, the same approach for the petals, but rather than go with the straw and the stem, I just added a little center with a floral sticker. So flowers are all around you waiting to be picked, um, sometimes in unexpected places like with your photos and your, I hate to say trash, but <laughs> your unused kitchen supplies. So look to those and see what kind of ideas will bloom on your pages.